welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we will create a simple schematic and the board files of a triple five timer which is used to flash an led and this tutorial is performed using the eagle pcb design tool for more such videos i request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below the first step is creating the new project so click on file click on new project and now in this particular section type the project name so in this particular tutorial it is triple five flasher and save this particular project now right click on this particular triple five flasher and click on schematic now we get this particular schematic window which appears on our screen so click on file and click on save as and in this particular project section name this file as triple five flasher dot schematic and save this particular file now to add components click on add part and search for ne triple five timer so select this particular ne triple five timer and click ok place this particular component on the schematic and press escape and close the add component window next we must place a resistor and a capacitor and the passive components which is required for our circuit design so search for resistor and we would be using a spark fun resistor library so select the resistor and click ok now place the resistor in this particular design we require the four resistor and place this particular four resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to add capacitors so click on open library manager and in the available browse for spark fun capacitors and click open now select the spark fun capacitor and click on use and click on in use and search for the spark fun capacitor and you can see this particular spark fun capacitor in the library manager now we have to select the component from the spark fun capacitor library so click on this spark fun capacitor and select the 10 microfarad capacitor and click ok now place this particular capacitor on the schematic window so we have to select the uh, appropriate 10 microfarad capacitor uh, so select this particular 10 microfarad capacitor and you can place it on the schematic window now click escape and close the add part component and we have to click on the add part and search for the led so from the ada fruit library we will select the led 5 mm and click ok and we will place this particular led on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now we must add the terminal so click on add part and search for the terminal and click ok now in the ada fruit section select this particular terminal from the ada fruit library and place the terminal on the schematic window now in order to rotate the particular component 
we have to right click on the component and we have to click on rotate so press the rotate option accordingly in order to rotate a particular component as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to move certain components in order to make our design more presentable so right click on the component and click on move so we can perform this move operation for other components as shown in this particular tutorial so perform the move operation uh, as per uh, as per it is shown in this particular tutorial to make our design more presentable Now in order to rotate the resistor, right click on the resistor and click on rotate. Similarly, we will perform the rotate function for the resistor R2, for resistor R3 and also for the resistor R4 as shown in this particular tutorial. To connect the components, we have to click on the net icon and connect the terminal 2 of the terminal to the terminal 1 of the LED and the resistor R1 is connected to the terminal 2. Now the resistor the other end of a resistor is connected to the resistor R2 and from pin number 7 of the NE555 timer is connected to resistor R1 and R2. The other end of resistor R2 is connected to capacitor and from pin number 6 of NE555 timer will be connected to the R2 and C1 and the pin number 2 of NE555 timer is connected to pin number 6. Now connect the other end of LED1 to the resistor R3 and from the resistor R3 it is connected to resistor R4 and from resistor R4 we will connect to LED2. Now the terminal 1 is connected to the capacitor C1 and the capacitor C1 is connected to the LED2 and the pin 1 of the NE555 timer will be connected to the ground. Now we have to add a part and so click on add part and we have to select a capacitor. So select the capacitor value of 10 nanofarad from the spark fun capacitor library. So select this 10 nano farad capacitor and place this particular 10 nano farad capacitor on the schematic window. Now click on net and connect the terminal number 5 of NE555 timer to the capacitor and the other end of capacitor C2 will be connected to the ground. Now 
the pin number 3 is connected to the resistor R3 and the pin number 4 and 8 is connected to VCC plus. Now in order to define the ground and VCC plus we must change the net 8 name to ground. So right click and click on name and the new name will be ground and place this particular label accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Similarly, we have to name the VCC and place it accordingly. Now we have to provide the value for all resistor. So right click on resistor R2 and select the value. The value of the R2 resistor will be 1K and click OK. Similarly, we have to right click the resistor R3 and click on value and change the value as 220 ohm and click OK. Right click on the resistor R4, click on value and change the value of resistor R4 to 220 ohm. Now save this and we must check the ERC. When we click on the ERC, we can see three warnings. One is part LED has no value and the other is power pin IC1 must be connected to VCC plus. So now right click on the LED one and we have to change the value of this. So make the value as red and similarly make the value of the second LED as also red and click OK. Now save this and click on tools, check the ERC, we have one warning. So this has to be connected to VCC plus. So we have to change the label. So right click on the label VCC and we have to define this label as VCC plus and click OK. Now save this, click on tools, click on ERC and there are no errors we can see in the bottom. So we are done with the schematic. Next, we can start with creating the board layout. So click on file and select the switch to board and click yes. So we create the board from the schematic and initially our board doesn't look very promising and we need to work on this. All the components are punched up in the bottom left of the screen. So move the component to the board. You will notice the legs of the component and the yellow line attaching them each other and these are called as air wires. So they indicate the connection that at some point we have to convert all the tracks and replace the air wires with the real connection. Now click on tool and select the rat's nest. This will redraw all the air wires and next we need to resize the board. So zoom out so that we can see the whole board and start resizing by dragging as shown in this particular tutorial from all the sides until they just enclose all the components. So once we enclose all the components, okay, what we need to do is that we have to do the routing. So let us complete the 
resizing of the board by dragging across on all the four sides. So now once we have resized the whole board, the next thing we must do is the routing. So click on tools. So we have to select the tools option and click on the auto router. And now we will launch the auto routing dialog by running the number of threads to 10 and then or the number of threads to 2 and click continue now click on start and uh, we can see that all the air wires will be eliminated and in the end uh, we will get the final layout of the board so click on end job and click on save so this shows the entire final layout of the board so the schematic and the board layout is completed thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below